And good morning, boys and girls. This is Die Bullfrog 79, and today we're going to do, let's look at the script, more secret survival gadgets. Now, a lot of people are asking me, what's a secret survival gadget, Uncle Alan? Well, a lot of people are stupid. Now, if you have a big work belt, all right, here's one of my dirty tricks. Yeah, let's get it out. You can get these on Amazon wholesale. This right here, let me hold up the card. This right here, you can see it. It's a handcuff key. All right, you want to tape this to the back of your belt, the inside. Okay, inside of the be back of the belt. So you could, when you reach them back, you could pop this out from duct tape and use that. Another trick I always tell people, the secret survival gadget, is a single edge razor blade. Duck this also next to the handcuff key on your belt. So in case you get tied up or anything, you can reach back there, pull it out, cut the rope. You're gone. But my all-time favorite is this. Small utility blade. I always have that duct tape either in my shoe or inside my belt. Nothing special, nothing exciting, but that's a couple of tricks on survival gadgets. Real easy. And another thing with... Uh, let's see, where did I put it? Okay. Yeah, this one's a little bit too big, but you can see what I'm doing. Tie a handcuff key. Okay, Uncle Alan had a little room this morning, so his tying of knots is not too good today. But you uh, fasten on a... Uh, let's see, let's do it that way. See what happens before you drink with four or five folks. Okay. Your girl cat friend can wear this around her neck. It's a handcuff key. All right? Real easy in case you get captured or banditos handcuff you. Well, surprise to them, you got a key and you can get out. Okay. Okay. I, this one, a lot of people kind of don't do it right. They buy a lot of wool blankets and they wrap themselves up in a kind of stupid way. Okay. And the big thing is you want to get blanket pins. Can you read this? I say it's not that good. Blanket pins. They come to a pack. You get this at a sewing or fabric store like Joann's. I would, if they're around, I always pick up two blanket pins. I prefer horse blanket pins, which is twice the size of these. But it'll do when left over from the last time I was using these. These are great. Okay. And then other craft places might have this style. This one's a little bit smaller, but you get three of them for about four bucks. That's six all together. Perfect. Two on the bottom of the blank that you folded over, and three on the side. Makes it like it. Uh, let me get a little coffee. Uh. Okay. A little sleeping bag that you make out of the blankets. Easy as pie. Nothing to that. Okay. And that's about it for some of the secret survival gadgets. It doesn't take too long. It doesn't take that much money. Another thing I would like to recommend is one of these, but I'm trying to close it together. I always carry spare handcuff keys, but you'll find these online. It's a little tiny box. It'll hold six 22 Magnum rounds. For about eight, 22 long rounds. 
and you can hide these all over the place. If you have a 22 rifle or, or you have a 22 revolver this is, or Derringer or hideout pistol, this is pretty handy to have. And in California, if you get stopped, they'll look at it and like, oh, it's for my medication. They won't search you. So anyway, that's a few tricks or a few simple survivalist gadgets. You can pick that up at any online dealer or fabric store or craft store. It's not that hard, folks. Got to use your brains. Okay, another trick. My grandma likes to use. You got a large handkerchief. Put that in your hat. Baseball hat. Uh, uh, what do you call it? One of these hats. Pith helmet. And you got a sun shield for a back of your neck. That's not hard. It's fairly simple and easy as pie. Okay? And that's some of the secret survival gadgets. Doesn't cost an arm and a leg. It's not James Bond. A little bit of brain power, folks. That's all you have to do. Catch you later. Have a nice day. You have a nice weekend. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Daibo Frog 79 And I'm Alan Sato, or Old Uncle Al. So give me a holler. All right?